Hi, and welcome back to In Our Element. I'm Andrew Lee, Customer Technical Service Engineer at Materion, and today we're going to be talking about what to do when you find multiple published values of the coefficient of friction online. Many engineers use coefficient of friction for FEA simulations or as a comparison between materials when selecting the proper material for their application. If you search online, you will often find varying values for the coefficient of friction, all just for one material. This is because the coefficient of friction is not an inherent material property, but a property of the system. So a valid question would be, which value should you use? The coefficient of friction depends on many things. It depends on the two base materials that are being run against each other. It depends on the lubrication. It depends on the uh, motion of the surfaces, the surface finish, and many other factors as well. In addition, despite a test that's run with constant load and motion, the surfaces will polish each other over the course of the test, causing a difference in coefficient of friction. In addition, lubrication might run out or be reapplied over the course of the test. What does this actually mean for you? It means that when you're selecting the coefficient of friction value, you should be sure to select one that is derived from a test that most closely matches your application. A few common tribological tests that measure the coefficient of friction include pin on disc, ring on disc, cross cylinders, and block on ring, which all have corresponding ASTM standards. Due to the multitude of variables listed earlier, it is important to view published coefficient of friction values as good estimates and not concrete numbers. In addition, you should be skeptical of any coefficient of friction value that is listed past just a couple of decimal places due to the variability of the coefficient. If you are using this value for FEA, it might be a good idea to choose a range of coefficient of friction values to test best and worst case scenarios and select accordingly to get the most legitimate result. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, please feel free to reach out to me or any of my colleagues with questions. See you later.